Hey guys, Mr. Johnson here, history teacher at Lexington Senior High School. I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about some of the offerings, class offerings, that we have here that you, as a future student, can take in the upcoming years. Uh, starting off, we have our standard history courses. Now, these courses are required for all students, okay? Uh, they begin in your freshman year with world history. Sophomore year, you will take civics. Junior year, you'll take American history. And in your senior year, and this is going to be a new course here, uh, you'll be taking an economics course, okay? So that's world history, civics, American history, and economics. Now, if you want to take some electives, okay, or if you want to take some advanced placement or AP courses, we offer several of those as well. We have uh, AP Psychology, okay? That's an elective. We also have Honor Psychology, which is an elective as well. We offer AP World History, AP US History, AP Seminar, and AP Research. The AP Seminar and AP Research are electives and they are part of the capstone program and your guidance counselor will talk to you about those. AP US History, AP World History, those can replace your standard world history and your standard uh, uh, American history classes. So those are some options there. Now why take the AP courses? Well, they're a little bit more challenging, they go into a little bit more depth, and they can help your overall GPA if that's something that you're shooting for. So keep that in mind as you're setting up your schedule. Um, Career-wise, you know, why take history courses? Well, you take history courses to learn about the past so you don't repeat, repeat those same mistakes in the future, all right? Um, careers that you can go into with a history degree, um, education, you can also look at uh, going into law, uh, whether you're an attorney, judge, um, or even law enforcement, okay? Um, you can get jobs with the State Department, you can get jobs with research libraries, you can pretty much get set up to get into whatever it is that you think you want to do, all right? Uh, history is really good that way. It kind of gives you a general perspective of the world around us and allows you to kind of figure some things out analytically. So it's a good place to start if you're not 100% sure what you want to do with your future careers. Now, as far as famous people go in the American history field or in the history field in general, Everybody, okay, because history covers all aspects of both American life and world life. So if you know somebody who's famous, history, okay, that's just something to kind of keep in mind there with that. All right, um, I've rattled on enough here uh, today. Uh, look forward to possibly seeing you in my class next year or the year after that, who's to say. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to your advisor. They'll be more than happy to put you in touch with either myself or any one of the teachers in the history department to get you what you need to be successful. All right, take care, have a great day, and have a better year.